for the serious gamer. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Ellis, and my gamer tag is EK Special. And this is my submission for Next Gen Tactics Challenge number five. Uh, the objective is to get the most headshots in a free for all game using only the Barrett 50 cal or the intervention. And um, I'm going to play a game here on a state and use the Barrett 50 cal. And the reason I use the 50 is because the uh, shorter time in between bullets that you can fire, I don't know the name for that, but um, I'm sure somebody does. And uh, I use sleight of hand, stopping power, and ninja pro. Uh, I think that's pretty much the standard now. Um, and uh, here goes the game. Um, spoiler alert, I end up getting 19 headshots. Uh, I think that's pretty good, you know. Uh, two out of three kills is a head Every two out of three kills ended up being a headshot. My goal was 20, and so I came up just a little bit short of that. But um, I think it's a good game overall. Um, as you can see, I'm using the uh, throwing knife instead of like a claymore or a grenade or anything. And I don't actually end up getting any throwing knife kills from it. But what I do end up doing is, you know, having a more aggressive style of gameplay. Because not having the claymores prevents me from camping at all. And uh, not having the grenades basically prevents me from throwing them at people and getting kills with them instead of getting headshots. And so I come up here for the for the beginning of the game, and and I get stuck up here for a while. Um, I wasn't planning, and I say stuck because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to get stuck in one place for a, a long time. Uh, because the longer you're in one place, the more people are going to run at you. And in trying to get headshots, you don't really want people running at you. You want them at a distance, and uh, you want to be able to you know scope them and if you're if people are five feet away you're not gonna have a good chance of scoping them in to get a headshot uh, like right there I got pretty lucky to get the kill um, and going along with that being such a competitive person I wanted to win the free-for-all I wanted to do well in the challenge but at the same time I want to win everything I do so when people would get up close to me it would be easy to let them kill me and say, okay, now I have another chance to get a headshot. But instead, I would, you know, just end up knifing them or pulling out my pistol and killing them because I don't want to die. And it's just, I guess, my nature to not want to, you know, lose. And so I, I probably could have got a higher score if I would have let some of those guys kill me instead of shooting them with my pistol. But uh, it's just not my style. So, you know, whatever. I did the best I could. And I think 19 is a pretty good score. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is I wanted to thank everyone that checked out my last video that uh, Next Gen Tactics posted because I worked really hard on the pistol kills and so I thought it was really cool to see so many people watch the video and I read every single comment that was on there and then some people even came to my channel and checked out my other videos and I got a few subscribers out of it. Um, so that wasn't my goal at all. My goal was just to have a good time and, uh, you know, do the best I could at a challenge. And uh, so it was a pleasant surprise to see the outcome of it. And so I just wanted to give a big thank you to you guys. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, but, you know, back to the gameplay, still going for headshots. And, like, there was another example of that guy running away from me, running down the hill. I probably wasn't going to get a headshot on him, and I could have let him just keep going. But... I just I couldn't resist pulling the trigger on him basically so um, but, but you'll see up here in a little while I realize how high of a score I have compared to the second place person and you know I know I have such a big lead that it's probably a sure thing that I'm gonna win this game and so I do end up uh, I slow down a little bit when I cut when it comes to scoping people like right here after I ridiculously try to jump up on this thing for some reason you know I run over and I see a guy going for a care package so I say okay I got a six kill lead uh, let's make sure to get a headshot on this guy and I miss so uh, my strategy didn't really go as planned but it would have been a good strategy had I been a better sniper I guess so um, but you know you do get a big lead like that and if I keep rushing and pushing forward I'm I'm going to rush myself out of some headshots I would have normally had. So I did try to take my time once I got the lead, but at the same time, still push forward and still go on an aggressive path. And um, So I think I did a good job with that. Uh, right there I got a P90 
painkiller headshot, which was pretty frustrating because I don't know what kind of drugs are in the painkiller, but if someone can live after getting a bullet through their head because of that drug, then it's something a lot more of us should be taking. Um, but, you know, I keep, I don't let it frazzle me, you know. Got to roll with the punches like Rocky or something and uh, just keep pushing forward. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I try to do the rest of the game. And I hear somebody running through this uh, flower garden thing and I miss again. And like I said, I'm not the best sniper. I don't claim to be the best sniper. But after the game's been out for eight months or so, um, you know, trying to snipe and do something I'm not very good at is, is kind of entertaining to me as well because... It's not the same thing anymore. It's not capturing flags. It's not just killing them any way possible. Just adding this little twist to the game does keep it pretty interesting, which is why I think the agency is so successful because, you know, going around with handguns only is something that people weren't doing a month or two ago. And so it just adds a little twist, you know, keeps it interesting. And um, so that's why I like these challenges so much, going for headshots. It's something I'd never done before till I tried this headshot challenge thing. And... I didn't have quite as much time to spend on this challenge as I did the agency one because just with homework and stuff, school's getting pretty hard, and uh, I didn't have as much time to really, you know, spend hours on end going for a higher record or whatever. But, you know, I was still happy with it. It, it turned out good, and um, hopefully I tinkered with my video quality settings a little bit. So I think it's a little bit clearer. It looks a little better on my uh, little preview screen here. and. You know, I'm hoping once it gets up on YouTube, it still is pretty clear. But, you know, if not, uh, it's another thing, you know, I can't really do anything about it right now. Um, my microphone's probably still uh, doing that buzzing sound or whatever, and I, that's another thing I can't control. So, um, let's get back to the gameplay. Uh, there's a funny part coming up here. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the video that Spiderbite posted where uh, Hypermole and him were playing a search game, and during the intermission of two of the I don't even know I don't play search so I don't know what it's called but um, Hypermole was talking a bunch of crap to spider bite that he's gonna die and stuff and so spider runs up the next time and sticks him and look at what happens right here <laughs> I get stuck and that's the first thing I thought of as soon as that happened because compared to Halo you don't get stuck nearly as much so when it happened I was like oh man I feel like hypermole for some reason even though I wasn't really talking crap I, I don't really do that before or after the games but it was still pretty funny and then that sniper kind of snuck up on me well I snuck up on him but I didn't react quick enough to kill him but you'll see here I get my payback uh, after I get this guy and here I I don't know what he was doing, but I hard scope him pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, five, five second hard scope. So, you know, that's MLG Pro right there. Um, yeah, so I only need four more kills, and I'm up by six. So, so I just keep pushing forward and looking for more kills. Basically, there's plenty of time in the game for me to, you know, find some more headshots. And there's a painkiller right there, and. When I run in this building, this stupid computer monitor gets in the way. That looked like a headshot to me. And the computer monitor is clearly bulletproof, and uh, I even have full metal jacket on, so I don't know what happened, but I just think uh, my final score should be 19 and 1 computer monitor ending blocking headshot. Uh, this guy didn't see me, got a cheap one right there, and then again, I could have let this guy come up behind me and kill me easily but instead I just knife him because I want the win and I don't care as much about the headshots as I do get the win and you know there's a final headshot to end the game so I hope it was entertaining I hope you liked it uh, go ahead and uh, leave me any feedback if you know something I can do better at and I appreciate y'all for watching and thanks next next gen tactics for putting the challenge out guns good luck on your surgery thanks bye